Shabbat Shalom, sisters in Christ, daughters of Zion. Welcome to the Virtuous Woman channel. Today we're talking about the topic, it pays to be righteous. It pays to be righteous. To be righteous is doing what is right, is to be virtuous is to be morally sound. To be righteous is to be spiritually sound, is to be upright in art. It pays to be righteous. It's good to be godly. Hallelujah. In Proverbs chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. Proverbs Chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. It says, But the path of the just is as shining light. The path of the just is as shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. And 19 says, The way of the wicked is as darkness they know not at what they stumble it pays to be righteous and in proverbs 11 proverbs chapter 11 verses 4 to 8 says riches profit not in the day of wrath but righteousness delivers it from death. Righteousness delivers us from death. The righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way. Our righteousness shall direct our way. But the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. Verse 6 says, The righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, but transgressors shall be taken in their own Naughtiness. Verse 7 says, When a wicked man dies, his expectation shall perish, and the hope of unjust men perisheth. The righteous is delivered out of trouble, and the wicked cometh in his stead. Hallelujah. It pays to be righteous. It is glorious to be righteous. It is fruitful to be righteous. When we are righteous, God has our back because we are on the right path. We are doing his will. We are doing, we are following his commandments. When we are righteous, we are the apple of his eyes. When we are righteous, we are on the right path. We are at the right side of the Lord. We are on the narrow path. When we are righteous, we are of the Lord. He will protect us. He will guide us. He will lead us. He will overshadow us with his strength, with his power, with his grace, with his mercy, with his favor. Hallelujah. Benefits of being righteous. Benefits of being godly. It brings life and, sh and shall not be visited with evil. Proverbs 19, 23. Among the righteous, there is favor. Proverbs 14, verse 9. That's paraphrasing. In the way of righteous is life, and in the pathway of thereof, there is no death. Proverbs 12, verse 28. Wealth and riches shall be in, shall be in his house, and his righteousness endure forever. Psalms 1, 1, 2, verse 3. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Matthew 5 verse 14. The years of the the years of thy life shall be many. That means long life. That means it shall give us long lives. And that's in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 10. 
you shall be given ornament of grace, a crown of glory. Proverbs 4 verse 9. He shall direct your path in all your ways if you acknowledge him. Proverbs 3 verse 5. He shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven, to give the rain unto thy land in its season. He shall bless the work of thy hand. Hallelujah. Thou shalt lend to many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 11 and 12. Lots of blessings are in Deuteronomy 28, verses 1 to 14. Those are promises. He said, if you don't turn to the right or to the left of this commandment, blessed is everything that belongs to you. Hallelujah. God promises us lots and lots of things and is faithful. And when he says it, he will do it. He has promised us that when we are righteous, when we are upright he will definitely bless our lives he will guide us so we can be fruitful so we can be apple of his eyes and he will defend us anytime anytime anywhere he will defend us he will defend his interest in our lives he will arise for our sake and fight our battles just like he has said in um exodus 14 verse 14 he said I will fight your battles and you shall hold your peace. Hallelujah. Fervent prayer of a righteous man. Avilet much. James chapter 5 verse 16. He heareth the prayer of the righteous. Proverbs 15 verse 29. He shines his light on our path. He gives favor. He gives deliverance. He shows mercy. It leads to fulfilling purpose. It leads us to fulfill our purpose. The main reason he has created us. It leads us. It guides us to fulfill it. Hallelujah. It strengthens us. It encourages us. Just like in Psalms 18. Just like in Psalms 18. In Psalms 18, verses 1 and 2 says, I will love thee, O my strength. He is our strength. Hallelujah. It pays to be righteous because a higher God Almighty, He is our strength. Hallelujah. Verse 2 says, The Lord is my rock. It pays to be righteous because God Almighty, Ahaya, He is our rock. And my fortress, He is our fortress. It pays to be righteous because God Almighty, I am that I am in Hebrew means Ahaya. He is our strength. Hallelujah. So He is our fortress. He is our rock. He is our, he is, he is our strength. And he said, and my deliverer, he is our deliverer. He pays to be righteous because Ahaya, I am that I am. He is our deliverer. He is our God. He is our strength in whom I will trust. He is our buckler and the on of our salvation. God Almighty, the most high, is the on of our salvation. Hallelujah. And is our high tower. Amen. It pays to be righteous because God Almighty, I am that I am, ancient of days, a higher. He is our high tower. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give glory to the Lord. When, when we go to Philippians 2, Philippians chapter 2, Philippians Chapter 2, verses 13 to 16. It says, For it is good which worketh in you, both to will 
and to do of his good pleasure. No, sorry, let me start that again. He said, for it is God which worketh in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. It is God Almighty. I am that I am, Ahaya, that worketh in us. He is the one that worketh in us, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Hallelujah. Verse 14 says, do all things without murmurings and disputings, that ye may blameless and harmless the sons of God without rebuke in the midst of the crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as light in the world. And verse 16 says, holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Hallelujah. We shall not labor in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. And in um, Proverbs 2, in Proverbs 2, verses 20 and 21, Proverbs 2, verse, verses 20 and 21 says, That thou mayest walk in the way of good men and keep the path of the righteous. If we are keeping the path of the righteous, we know we're doing the will of the Lord. Hallelujah. For the upright shall dwell in the land. Hallelujah. The land of the living. We, the upright shall dwell in the land of the living. The upright in heart. The upright in act shall dwell in the land of the living. The upright shall dwell in the land of the living, in the land that God has planned, that's prepared, has proposed for us. Hallelujah. And the perfect shall remain in it. The perfect. Who are the perfect? Those are the righteous. The righteous are the perfect. The righteous are saints. The righteous are the true daughters of Zion. Hallelujah. May God help us. In the name of Yeshua, He shall keep us. He shall be our shield, our buckler. He shall strengthen us to do His will, to 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 live for Him, to be of Him, to to be in His way, in His line, in His pleasure, for Him to be the own of our salvation. We have to respect Him and acknowledge Him. That he died for us and he rose up just for us. And the salvation is there for us to take with both hands and not let go. He says in Revelation, I think Revelation 3, he says, The crown, your crown of glory, guide it jealously that no man take it from you. Hallelujah. So he pays to be righteous in all ways because he's there for us and he will protect us. He will be with us. He will, he will guide us. He will lead us because we are his own. We give God the glory. Many are called, few are chosen. We all shall be part of the few that are chosen. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. If you have listened to me up to this hour and you have not given your life to Christ, tomorrow might be too late. The end time unfolding daily by the seconds please give your life to christ today and read these prayers after me yeshaya is the name of jesus christ of nazareth the son of the living god his name is yeshaya in hebrew so in this prayer i say christ jesus yeshaya have mercy on me I believe in your death and resurrection for me. Forgive me of all my sins. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Put on me garment of salvation. Renew my spirit within me. Grant me grace to follow you to the end. Amen. Amen and amen. And I pray through Ezekiel 11 verse 19. Ezekiel 11 verse 19, I pray that Ahaya shall give you one heart 
He shall put a new spirit within you. He shall take the stony heart out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Amen. 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 So I forgot to give these little passages I have here. I also have uh, Proverbs 14, verses 34, Isaiah 26, verse 7, then Sevenaya chapter 2, verse 3. So we can read and study more on it. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Walk with the Most High in truth, in righteousness, in uprightness of heart. Shalom.